Hello everybody, welcome back to Decaf Math, and welcome, welcome if you are new here. So today's video is uh, requested by a friend here on this channel, and so they asked for a an optimization question specifically um, for around the calculus AB level and so I'm going to attempt to make one up based on a question that I've sort of seen recently um, just from my private tutoring and stuff um, so bear with me because I'm writing this out <laughs> but I'm trying to change the question around um, so let's see let's say a farmer A farmer wants to build a rectangular pig pen. With Two hundred and forty feet of fencing. One side, I'm not a writer here, you can tell. One side of the pen will be the side of his barn so no fencing needed there um what are the optimal dimensions or just, you know, what are the dimensions so as to maximize the area of is pig pen. How's that? <sighs> Maybe some nice sharpie sounds there if nothing else, but um, so a farmer wants to build a rectangular pig pen with 240 feet of fencing. So that's how much he has. But one side will be his barn. Um, and so we want to know what are the actual dimensions of the pen to maximize the area and also what is that area so maybe I'm not so good at writing out you know English but we can definitely draw a picture and do the math so what this is, is let's say we have a barn Okay, so this is just going to be this side And so we have This part being one of the sides of our pen So he has 240 feet of fencing And so we don't need to worry about that wall We're just going to make some kind of pen Like this okay. Technically this isn't even the right perspective because I'm looking I'm looking <laughs> I'm looking downwards like this so you actually you would be only seeing the top of the barn Okay, so I can't draw and I can't really write so let's just do some math shall we? <laughs> 
but you see what I mean because I'm looking down so that I can see the rectangular shape so technically I would only be looking at the roof of the barn not like this but that's okay okay so we have a rectangular pen here and um, this is gonna have the point being that we have two of one side and one on the other. So I'm gonna call this width, and then this would be length. It's arbitrary as long as you keep track of which one's which for you. And so we know that this is going to be rectangular, um, or, you know, a square is a rectangle. Um, so just something to do with W and L. And we know that we want to maximize the area of his pig pen. So for these kinds of questions, I suggest that you start with what you are trying to maximize or minimize. In this case, the area of his pig pen. So make an expression for what you're trying to do. So here, the area of this is going to be length times width. The area of any rectangle is its length times the width, and I labeled these two as the same, um, but we only need two. Width times length, length times width. So, step one, write the thing that you're trying to optimize. Step two is try and eliminate one of these variables or make everything in terms of one variable given your constraint or something else that's given. That way, our goal is to take the derivative and set equal zero because that's where we're going to have, as we've talked about actually very recently, our humps and bumps. That's where our critical points happen. And so for this, usually there's going to just be one or two or you're going to be able to eliminate um, one. Like you're going to be able to just uh, conceptually get rid of one so that there's one clear answer. There are other ways to solve this. Um, I took an optimization class a long time ago, but uh, we can use like Lagrange multipliers, I believe. So, um, but for now, we're going to just do it this way because we're doing, we only have um, these two variables, but we also have a constraint of one in terms of the other. So, um, with the 240 feet of fencing, we're going to write what we're given also as an equation. So, if we have 240 feet of fencing, we have W plus W plus L, because we don't need this side. So we have W plus W plus L equals 240, which then simplifies to 2W plus L equals 240. Okay, so then we just rearrange this so that we can eliminate either L or W. In this case, I think it's easier to just say L equals 240 minus 2W. So just move this over. So we're going to do L in terms of W, which means we're going to do the derivative with respect to W, and then we can just plug back into our constraint to find the L again. But um, we're just going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to plug, plug back in. So L equals 240 minus 2W. So now A equals 240 minus 2W times W, which we can distribute. So 240 W minus 2W squared is my A. So now I'm going to take the derivative with respect to w. If you want to only memorize one thing for these optimization questions, take the derivative, set equal zero, solve for your variable. 
So da dw, the derivative of this thingy is 240, the w goes away, minus w squared, the derivative is 2w, the constant gets pulled to the side, so minus 4w. And of course, if you run into a bizarro situation where you have to see if it's undefined, you also want to solve those. But in these situations, in our like everyday applications, typically you're just going to have one value. So we're going to set this equal to zero because that's where, um, and solve for w because that's where our possible our possible widths would be so that our area is maximized, minimized, or minimized, but we can show that it's a maximum. So if I solve this, so this is our a prime, this is the same thing. I solve this for w, so for w equals 240, w equals, you move the 4 over by dividing. So 240 divided by 4 is 60 feet. And this is not undefined anywhere, so we're not worried about that. Um, and so we have 60 feet. And so if we want to show whether that is a maximum or a minimum, we could actually just go ahead and take another derivative here if we're trying to be like really thorough say if we took an ap test which i know our darling friend is who the person who asked for this is um then if it's a free response question you'll want to show that it's actually a maximum we can't just assume so what you could do is take a second derivative here um so that would be a negative four and since that is less than zero, and actually our most recent video, we just went through this, this is negative. So, um, and specifically at w equals 60 means it's always concave down, meaning we are at a local maximum. So you could write that out. And so then we have a w equals 60. And so the question is, what are the optimal dimensions to maximize? And what is that area? So we just calculated w equals 60 feet. So still 60 feet. And so then we also want the length. So you can plug back into our um, constraint, our, uh, it's actually always good to go back to the original question. Uh, rather than rely on your algebra because sometimes we make mistakes, right? But if you wanted to plug here, we have 2 times 60 is 120, 240 minus 120 is 120. And that works because 60 plus 60 is 120 plus 120 is my 240 of fencing, 240 feet of fencing. So our dimensions would be 60 feet by 120 feet and so the area would then be our area would be 60 times 120 which would be um, 7200 is that right? and then if you're taking the actual AP always write in your units so um, square feet or feet squared okay I think that is pretty much it um, one thing that's kind of cool to think about is that if we have two of these W's for our perimeter right two of the W's and one L it's kind of a neat little thought experiment here but um, 2 times 60 is 120, and we have 120, so the ratio kind of holds. And with these optimization questions, they kind of pretty much always end up like in something that's like a square of some sort by default. So, um, and then you could scale your W down, but I don't know, I can't really think of one off the top of my head right now, but a lot of times, like, you know, it's like, what's the optimal volume? Um, 
a lot of times it looks like an actual cube depending on the actual question um, or some kind of scaling of the sides that make it look like it would be a cube I don't know if that helps but um, that usually kind of because if you have like a set constraint of something like perimeter for instance if you increase one you're decreasing the other so you're kind of trying to find that middle ground of increasing and decreasing so that your area actually ends up being maximized and a lot of time that ends up being in like the middle ground of a square or a cube but then of course in this case we have two w's um sort of contributing to the perimeter and only one L, so you kind of scale that. Anyways, I hope that this was helpful and kind of fun at least, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then no worries. I hope it was still nice and relaxing, and um, I hope that if you are reviewing for the AP test, I know that's coming up in a couple of weeks, the AP AB calculus test. Um, I wish you all the best, and I hope that you remain relaxed through your exams and finals if you're taking those. And, and for the rest of us, I hope that you are resting and relaxing and taking good, good care. Sending you all my love. I'll see you very soon for more math. Bye.